Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz. The last thing I want to do is film cockroaches. However, you won't believe this. I just saw an albino cockroach. I'm not kidding. Okay. He's in a hiding mood. Okay, I don't know if that one's dead. It was on top of this one. I was like, oh, do we have mating going on? Oh, here he is. Ugh. This is so creepy. I'm about to die. Um, okay, let me see. All right, I'm gonna have to get a stick and then I'll scream. Uh, let's see if we have any others in here that I can be prepared. Yeah, usually they have huge ones. It's just awful. Guys, it rained so hard. Woo! We got, well, it was Tropical Storm. Now it's uh, Hurricane Elsa, Category 1, originally heading toward the Gulf Coast. Now, I guess it's going to go up our coast. Okay, so number one, let me, let me get this out of the way. Ew, awful. Okay, this albino cockroach. I'm just not even kidding. This is just awful. Oh, God. Here. And you know what? Maybe it's not even an albino. It could be, uh, I don't know. I certainly don't know the life cycle of a cockroach, but I've been in South Carolina 33 years and I just have never seen this coloration. Okay, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, I'm gonna zoom in. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. So isn't this fascinating yet creepy at the same time? Okay, let's look. Okay, I'm trying to get closer here. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. Um, I usually have to chase out two sizes of cockroaches. Now watch, I'm gonna move this forward. Ugh. Oh God. I just, guys, I mean, who, who likes bugs? I know they're important because I don't even know uh, the history of cockroaches. You know, we have the palmetto trees here, and they're actually called palmetto bugs. Now, this is smaller. It's not like the giant ones that are more flattened. You know, they say, like, the size of the dime. They can they can sneak into any window or door. But isn't that bizarre? Anyway. So, I figure, well, I better film it. What if it is an albino, and it could be the first one in the whole universe, and maybe some science person will call me. <laughs> I doubt it. It's probably not, probably not how it's going to roll. But yeah, I'll have to look up the uh, life cycle of the cockroach, and we'll find out what's going on. But you see the legs, how they have little filaments, or it could be hair on the side. Awful. Okay, so that's the worst part of the sea pine flower project. I do deal with <sighs> bees. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a type of bee, like sometimes I've had nest, and it's only happened a couple times, more like in a chickadee nest. I'm trying to think of the type of bee, under pressure, I can't come up with a name, um, that burrows in. Oh my God, that's just radical. And then um, bees, spiders, wasps. I have one box, I'm telling you, you, you take soap, you're supposed to put soap on, on the roof uh, to prevent, oh God, see there's a cockroach right there, see? See what I'm talking about, how awful? So that's a burgundy color, the bigger ones, or more of a dark brown. So they're called palmetto bugs. So you see, that would be a normal coloration versus the white that I just saw. Which, you guys probably want to see it again. Woo! Here he is. But, um, all right, what other insects? I mean, I, I have everything. Lacewing, lacewing larvae, they carry little, they, they, like, hide themselves in pieces of lichen and move up and down the box. Um, ants, of course, deal with every type of ant. Pavement ants, fire ants, Carpenter ants, not so much in the boxes. Only if there was like a, you know, a log or something that was being broken down um, from a storm or something like that. Anyway, so I'm in the middle of the sea pines circle called Fraser Circle. And it's a beautiful day except for these cockroaches. All right, have a great day.